A dangerous and suffocating heat wave has more than 85 million people in the U.S. under heat alerts today. Meanwhile, smoke from Canada's wildfires has returned, prompting air quality alerts. Shelly Malashi has that story. We're out here early trying to beat the heat. Millions across the U.S. are still facing a weeks-long heat wave, and it's now intensifying. The brutal heat and dangerous temperatures are hammering the southwest U.S. throughout the weekend. Cities throughout the southwest are in triple digits, and by Sunday, temperatures in Death Valley, California, could top 130 degrees. This weekend, that dome of high pressure, which doesn't allow any rain showers or anything to cool down, the air sinks down and just heats up, and that's bringing hot desert air all the way into the southwest. In Phoenix, Arizona, temperatures have reached 110 degrees every day this month, and this heat streak is expected to continue through at least Wednesday. It's the, the hottest time of the year in the hottest places of the country, but even with that, these temperatures are 5, 10, even 15 degrees above average, and that's why it's a problem. In the south, a heat advisory is in place from Texas to Alabama. In Texas, people have been dealing with dangerously hot temperatures for weeks. It feels like if hot sauce could be felt without you having to taste it, like, and it got poured on my back. Meanwhile, at least eight states are under air quality alerts as smoke from Canada's wildfires returns to the northern plains and upper Midwest. Minneapolis and parts of Iowa will see the worst of the smoke on Saturday, with cities including Chicago, St. Louis and Detroit seeing smoky skies on Sunday. I'm Shelley Malashi reporting.